Hello guys, this is my 38th video in React series. In our previous video, we have made 5 projects using the concept of hooks and this was our final 5th project, okay, dark mode toggle. Okay, now in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to pass array data inside use state. Okay, now we are going to see different methods of passing the data. Now here, okay, I am just going to clean this entire thing. I will just remove this from here. Okay, I am just, I am just cleaning the code. And from here, I'll just remove this entire thing. I'll save this. And now if I just show you the output, you can see it's empty and here I don't have anything. Okay, now inside this diff container, okay, I'm just going to remove this state as well. Here you can see I have already imported this use state. Now inside this return, I'm just going to write here h1. I'll just write some data here, passing array data inside use state. I'll save this and now if I show you the output, you can see I'm having this output here, passing array data inside use state. Here I'll just write the syntax of use state. I'll just declare that one. I'll be giving text. Here I'll just give here set text. And I'm just going to give here use state. Now inside this whatever value I'll be passing, that will be the initial data for this variable. Okay, whatever value I'm passing here, that will be the initial data for this variable. I'll just copy this variable and inside one paragraph, I'm just going to paste that variable here. I'll save this. Now, if I just show you the output, you can see here I'll be getting here value. Okay, whatever data I'm having here, that will be the initial data for this variable. Okay, this is the normal value I have passed. I can pass numbers as well. I'll save this. Now, if I show you the output, you can see I can pass the numbers as well. Now, we will see how to pass arrays. Now, here, before this, I'm just going to create one array. I'll just give my array name as data. And inside this array, I'll just create one object. Okay, this we have seen already how to create separate API, how to create separate file, how to import that file and how to use that file. Okay, now here in the same file, I'm just going to create array of objects. And now we will see how to use this one. Okay, here I'm just going to give name. I'll separate using comma. I'll be giving place here. Place, let me just give here Mumbai. Okay, fine. Next, I'm just going to create one more object. I'll just copy the same thing from here. I'll just paste that one. Instead of this, I'll just give here Seema. And place, I'll just give here Bangalore. Entire data is stored inside this variable. And data is having array of objects. Okay, this square brackets, whatever you can see, that is my array. And inside this array, I'm having this object. This is my first object. And this is my second object. But inside arrays, we are going to call this as an element. This is my first element of array. This is the second element of array. And this will be having the zeroth index. And this is having the first index. Now to access only the name, okay, using this map method, we can achieve that one. Here I'm just going to show that one. I'll just open this curly braces. Inside this, I'll just copy this array name. Here I'll be writing that array name. I'll be using map method. And inside this, I'll be passing one argument. And this argument will be having all the data, whatever I am having here, whatever I pass here. Now this data, first it will be storing this entire data. Second, it is going to store this entire data. Now I want only name, okay, to access the name, this map method is going to return something. And inside return, I'm just going to access the name. Okay, here I'll just write H2 and inside H2. Now this values will be having all the data. I'll copy this one. And here inside curly braces, I have to paste that one dot name. Okay, whatever value I want, I'm just going to paste that particular property here. Okay, particular key, I'm just going to paste. This is the key value pair and I want name that is Khanam and Seema. I'm just giving this name here. Now, if I show you the output, you can see I'm having here Khanam and Seema. Okay, this is how both the names I'll be getting here. If I just give here another uh, object, I'll just copy the same thing. Here I'll be pasting that one. Here I'll just give here Ria and place let me just give here Mysore. I'll save this. Now you can see here Ria is also being added. Okay, this is how it works. This map method, this values will be having all the data. First time it will access this one. Then second it is going to hold this one and third it is going to hold this one. Okay, for each element inside the array, it is going to run the function and it will be executed here. Okay, now if I want place. I'll just come here. I'll be writing again one more H2 and inside this, I'll be writing this values, values dot place. I'll save this. Now, if I show you the output, you can see Khanam is from Mumbai, Seema is from Bangalore and Ria is from Mysore. 
okay first this values will be having all the data of this particular element now here first time it is going to run this one and here i am having this both the values so name and place will be printed again it will come and again it is going to take the values from this particular element and that will be printed so i am getting the output in this fashion first khanam then place then again seema then bangalore then riya and mysore okay name place name place i'll be getting okay now this is how we are going to pass okay this is how we have seen how to pass the data of array i'll just comment this one now here this this i can pass as the initial data to my use state I'll, i'll just copy this variable and here i'm just going to paste that variable now whatever value this variable is holding that data i am passing as the initial value to this particular variable okay now this text is having all the data whatever i am having inside data now here inside this paragraph i have just given here text now if i show you the output you can see i'll be getting an error and nothing will be printed here in my console the error will be shown i'll just inspect this one now here inside console you can see here i got this error here errors objects are not valid as a react child and also this error has occurred so for that instead of writing okay now this this variable is having this value and this is nothing but array of objects so now this is also an array of objects so instead of writing i'll just uncomment this one now now here instead of this data i'm just going to give this variable i'll copy this and here i'll just paste that one i'll save this you can see here again i'm having the same output okay this is how we are going to pass the initial data that is array of objects as initial data to this particular variable now if i want to update this variable i have to update this particular variable here below this i'll just create one button and for this button i'll just write here click me as my text and here i'm just going to pass one event function that is nothing but on click whenever i on click i just have to update the data i'll just write here update data i'll just copy this function and here below this i'm just going to define that function i'll paste that function and inside this function i'll be giving this one okay i want to update this particular data i'll just copy this here i'll be pasting that one and inside this this entire thing i'll just copy this one and here i'll just paste that one okay instead of this khanam i am just going to give here reema place i'm not going to change and here i'm just going to give here siya and here i'll just give ramesh i'll save this okay now here i have this button here i am having khanam seema and riya now when i click on this you can see all the data is been changed okay this is how we are going to update the values and whenever i click on the button this values will be updated and i will be getting this output this is nothing but we are passing array of objects inside our use state now instead of passing instead of creating separate variable and passing that variable you can directly pass this entire thing i'll just copy this one and instead of this i'll just paste that one here okay again i'll be getting the same output now if i show you the output you can see when i click on this button it's getting changed okay this is how we are going to pass array of objects inside this use state okay you can also create separate file for this you can import that file and you can use that one as an api okay for some projects if you want directly to pass the data inside this use state then you can pass this and this data whatever you are passing that will be the initial data for this particular variable and now this is nothing but array of objects so i'll be getting it here now here instead of this okay here also i am passing whenever i click on the button i am just updating it and here i am passing array of objects now suppose instead of passing array of objects i'll just remove this objects from here i'll just give here empty array now as soon as i give this empty array i'll just show you the output i'll save this now i'll just refresh once now when i click on this you can see everything will be erased and my array is empty now so i'm just setting it to empty and this value whatever i'm having inside this that will be the updated data that will be the initial data for this particular variable okay here i'm just giving empty array which means that i'm just emptying all the array and this data will be passed as the initial data for this variable and i'm just getting here empty array and here i don't have any data now instead of this instead of passing array of objects directly if i just give here some name i'll just give my name i'll save this i'll just refresh this one now when i click on this you can see again it's getting erased okay it is not going to update anything it is going to erase the entire thing because here i'm passing array of objects so here also i have to pass array of objects only then it will work i'm just emptying my array i'll just refresh this one now when i click on this you can see it's getting erased 
okay this is how you can pass array of objects inside use state okay that's all for today's tutorial in our next tutorial we are going to see how to pass only objects inside this use state and also how to use spread operator and how to display all the data of objects okay thank you so much for listening have a great day